सलाम नमस्ते आई यूज टू बाय बुक्स फॉर द बैंगलोर स्लम स्कूल वी सपोर्टेड फ्रॉम शेख मोहम्मद टाइनी शॉप ही हैड अ शॉप सेलिंग स्टेशनरी नियर आवर ऑफिस एंड वी वुड बाय द बुक्स इन बल्क फ्रॉम हिम वी वुड पिक अप द बुक्स फ्रॉम द शॉप एंड लेट हिम नो वेन द चेक वॉज रेडी ही वुड देन कम टू द ऑफिस एंड कलेक्ट इट Once when he came to the office to get his check we were celebrating something and sweets were being handed out to everyone Sheikh was offered some as well he took a couple and put them away carefully in his pocket seeing him do that i asked what's the matter sheikh why aren't you eating the sweets are you a diabetic sheikh was a shy taciturn man and i knew little about him and his family So I was pleasantly surprised to hear his explanation. No madam, I am going to take them home and give them to the kids. They love these sweets. How many children do you have? I had noticed he had picked up only a couple of pieces. I have one daughter, but my niece also stays with us. So there are two children in the house. Why does your niece stay with you? She is my sister Zubeda's daughter. She is the widow. and both stay with us i realized it must be tough for sheikh to manage a fairly large household with only the income from his little shop so i asked does zubeda work yes she is a very good tailor she and my wife do tailoring at home with their income and the money i earn from the shop we get by quite well we are contented i was touched by his story contented is a word rarely heard these days a few months passed and one day i suddenly got a call from sheik he wanted me to give him his check a few days earlier than usual why sheik is anything the matter i asked yes madam we discovered some time back that zubeda is suffering from cancer the operation is tomorrow and we need the money desperately i instructed the check be sent to him immediately but i also realized that it would probably not be enough such operations are expensive and i was sure he was struggling to raise the money yet he had asked me only for what was due to him and nothing more i have learned many lessons in life ever since we started helping people monetarily through the infosys foundation i have seen women hiding their diamond studs in their purses and asking for funds for the poor I have seen well off parents declaring their children orphans and applying for scholarships. I even know some men who presented their parents as destitutes so they could get help from us. I called up Sheikh. Sheikh tell me, have you managed to get all the money you need for the operation? I have sold all of Zubeda's and my wife's jewelry. I have also taken a loan from the bank. Sheikh Why didn't you ask us madam at least i can afford this much you should be helping those who are poorer and cannot even afford this they require your help more than i do i was touched i asked him to get the papers and meet me as quickly as he could he came the next morning and showed me all the documents i took a look and handed him a check for 50000 rupees surprised and hesitant he said This is a lot of money. I have never expected such help to come from the blue. May you be blessed forever. A few days passed and Sheikh sent a message saying the operation had gone well. For a long time after that we did not hear anything from him. Then one day as I walked into the office I found him sitting in this reception. A little girl of about 4 by his side. She was wearing an ordinary cotton dress. decorated with laces and buttons her hair neatly oiled was pulled up into a ponytail how are you sheik i asked him how is zubeda sheik's face was lined with grief zubeda passed away a fortnight back in spite of all our efforts and your help she did not survive it was allah's wish i wanted you to meet her daughter tabassum i looked at tabassum She was scared and ill at ease in this strange office where people bustled about busily just to make her feel comfortable I offered her some biscuits she took one and then asked me in a shy voice can i take another one for amina
Amina was her cousin. I smiled and said, "Of course." I looked sadly at the girl, orphaned so young. Then her uncle said, "Beti, ammi ne bola tha na? Inko salam karo." Putting down the biscuits, the little girl said in a clear voice, "Madam, ammi ka salam." I was at a loss for words. Sheikh wiped his tears and pulled out an envelope from his bag. He handed it to me, saying, "This is yours. I am sorry. I am a bit late with this." I opened it. There were three thousand rupees in it. I looked at Sheikh in confusion. Out of the fifty thousand you gave us, we used only forty-seven thousand for Zubeda's treatment. When we came home and she knew she was dying, Zubeda made me promise that I would return the remaining money to you. Don't waste this on me, she said. Tell Madam to give it to some other sick person. She had wanted so much to meet you. and give you her salam but allah took her away i promised her i would carry out this last wish i sat there in stunned silence i had never met subeda but the largeness of her heart even on her deathbed left me speechless in spite of her own pain and poverty she had thought about someone who might be in greater need of help her story was a lesson in compassion she wanted to thank me and when she knew she would not make it she sent her daughter through the act of sending tabassum she was perhaps passing on her positive attitude to the child i was sure tabassum would grow up to be a fine human being i looked at the envelope this is for tabassum may allah be kind to her let her study well if you need any more help for her let me know and always tell her about her mother Our earth is enriched by people like Subeda. Tabassum sat quietly, her big eyes puzzled. One day she would understand and perhaps emulate her mother's courage.